Now, another solid quarter for the world's biggest maker of business management software. SAP Asia-Pac Japan says its first quarter software sales rose 13% from a year earlier, boosted by stabilizing economies and strong demand for its product. Let's get insights from Steve Watts, president of SAP Asia-Pac and Japan. Congratulations on the numbers. Question is whether it's sustainable going forward. Certainly, we're seeing the market is is in recovery mode. Uh, we saw a very strong Q4 and continued growth through Q1. Um, if I look across the market today, all of our key indicators are positive. Yeah. Let's see if we can get it done again in Q2, and then we really have a trend. Asia is it yes. doing better than the U.S. and Europe? Certainly, if you look at our overall growth, if you look at Asia today, and globally we reported 10% growth in software and software-related services, 13% across Asia Pac. So there is no doubting this is one of the growth engines. For the company. But which countries in particular will be driving your growth going forward? I mean, China's a huge one, but you have been disappointed with the numbers. Yeah, and as I look today, if I look at, I mean, India clearly was a great success story and continues to be through the market. China, our aspirations are high. China's a good business doing very well. Uh, would I like China to grow faster than it is today? Of course. Um, but we're also seeing good growth in our mature markets. Australia recorded again yeah, a good, strong double-digit growth in Q1. Korea, phenomenal performance in Q1 as we look at support. Um, so across the markets today, we're seeing a good balance. Key accounts, growing. SME, growing. And key industries, growing. SMEs, that's been the focus for your company. Mm. I mean, what kind of growth are you anticipating and how important is that in you know, its contribution to your overall earnings? Absolutely critical uh, and how important it is uh, and it will continue to be so. Um, how successful has it been? It's interesting, SMEs were clearly the first to dry up in terms of cash flow spend as the market tightened up in 2008. The return of SMEs, and we saw over 40% growth in our SME business in Q1 of this year. We're absolutely seeing SMEs come back and invest. Well, what we are seeing, to build on your thought though, is we're seeing both SMEs and the larger companies are investing for a different reason. They're now investing for growth. We watched over the past six to seven quarters people invest for cash optimization and holding. Now what we're seeing is people are back investing for increased competitiveness and increased growth again. Your business by design mm. software services, you're pretty much late in the game. Mm. Uh, do you think you've uh, lost out in any way or what are the plans to catch up with your competitors? I mean, Mm. Like what? NetSuit, Salesforce.com. Mm. And we'll talk a little more to the market and to our customer base at our uh, user conference in Sapphire in the next couple of weeks about business by design. Um, it's been a, a very good success with the early 100 customers that we've gone out with globally. It's a key market for us. If you look at our global strategy, and it rolls roll straight down across our uh, business in APJ as well, on-premise continues to be the way most people buy software. On-demand is a growing market and a critical market for us and then on device, which you and I and everybody else today look to consume our technology on smarter devices. And then we've got to orchestrate and bring all that together. SAP has to get all four right and is investing and getting all four right today. SAP seems to be getting a strategy right and the environment seems to be, uh, well, recovering nicely. Is that a fair assessment of the whole industry? Um, I wouldn't want to speak for the, the rest of the industry. Certainly what I'm seeing in our business is, a, is more predictability. Uh, there are two key indicators I look at, apart from the obvious things the market looks at. I look at our customer satisfaction levels and they continue to increase. Very, very material for us. And then I look at our partner investment. How are our partners going? Are they monetizing that ecosystem around? Are they providing additional services that are complementary and supporting SAP? Both we're seeing massively increase right now. Uh, your co-CEO mentioned earlier that uh, Asia Pac and the Americas showing a strong pipeline for, uh, for licenses. Yes. Can you elaborate on that? I mean, what exactly, specifically? Um, well, let me break it out for you. I look at an industry view first. We're seeing what we refer to internally as our strategic industries. The banking, financial services, insurance, retail are really starting to grow. Really, really starting to have an impact. If you then take it a, a slightly different view and you look at product set, our fastest moving product set over the last couple of quarters has been business objects. That business user play as a result of the acquisition that we picked up a couple of years back. Uh, by far and away our fastest growing product. Still seeing good growth in supply chain and CRM and some of the other areas, but by far and away the fastest growth product today that's driving real opportunity, business objects. Steve, before we let you go, just your sure. assessment of the biggest challenge for your business at this point in time. Predictability still. Let's see how we go. Let's get the, the, the next 41 selling days closed and come back and talk to you again in July about right. whether or not we got it done. We're looking forward to that. Steve Watts, SAP, thank you so much for your insights on the show today. Now